Head cuts are a really common form of erosion uh, within wet, wet meadows. And understanding how a head cut progresses is really important. So a head cut is this step falls here um, of an abrupt elevation change. And you can see that we've got some deep black soils here from the meadow. All our nice meadow soil, our sponge. And the way a head cut progresses is that all these roots here that are holding this soil, they dry out and they die. And the roots are from the plants is what really holds the soil in place. So each event, we get a rain, a runoff, the water runs over this side, takes this loose soil that is no longer being held in place by the roots, and all the soil is washed down the valley bottom and washed out of our, our wet meadow systems. And so you can see on top of this head cut, there's a line of dead grass here. And so once all that dead grass dies, the roots die, this head cut just keeps advancing every year, every year, on up the valley. And that's how we lose a lot of our wetlands and a lot of our wet meadows, our mesic meadows in these valley bottoms is by head cut progression. So one of the treatments that we're concentrating on here in our, our restoration project is how do we stop these head cuts from advancing? And so we're going to be building a, a number of hand-built rock structures here, which essentially bring our rock right up to this brim. We cut back into live vegetation. We put that rock right up against those, those roots. And that holds the soil moisture there and doesn't allow the roots to dry out, which allows the plants to become more vigorous and stay green. And that is actually what stops the head cut. If we do nothing here, this will just continue to wash away. This soil will wash away and we lose our wet meadow. And so we're concentrating on some really low tech, hand built structures to try and preserve what we have left above these head cuts in wet meadow systems.